I'm gonna eat me some lunch. It gets cool when you stop hiking. All my undershirts got sweaty drying them out. I saw three people a while ago uh, hiking up the trail. He said they were finishing up three days. Going to Porter's, I mean, uh, Adam's Gap. Yeah. Piece of tuna fish. amazing but rich crackers are about the only cracker I can carry with me and will not get crushed. This is my first trip using an alcohol stove. They do not like the wind. I got a windscreen, but it's not big enough. I'm in the Chiha Wilderness on the Penhody Trail, east, northeast Alabama. It is rocky, lots of rocks. If you just tent camping, you'd have a hard time finding a place to pitch a tent. made an alcohol stove out of a out of a vein a sausage can it works good when there's no wind I can boil water in about an ounce of alcohol takes about I guess five and a half minutes something like that five and a half six minutes Hadn't seen any critters yet. Hadn't been looking real good though, trying to look for rock so I don't break my ankle. But I was just gonna check in with y'all. I'm sure y'all probably don't wanna sit here and watch me eat. <clears throat> These are real good. <clears throat> Fuji apple fruit crisp. They're sweet. There's not much to them, but they taste good. And then I bring like raisins for lunch. Raisins to put in oatmeal. And then I got two other bags. That's my lunch bag. I got a, uh, a uh, supper bag and then a breakfast bag. I guess my biggest bag is probably the uh, the breakfast bag. It's got the most stuff in it. I didn't figure on my alcohol right though. I should have brought a little more alcohol. I'll be all right though. I just had to eat cold oatmeal. But I'll let y'all go and I will check back in with y'all later on today. Man, I just come up several switchbacks up this mountain and it is a climb. My calves are screaming right now. 
going through some a little rock garden. It's pretty. Went through several um, I think it was between Porter's Gap and Adam's Gap back in the spring. They were pretty tough. Alright, let's walk through here. See if I can hold the phone on this stick. Ooh, got some level ground now. Tell you the volunteers that keep this trail up they do a good job coming in here and cutting these trees out that hurricane zeta come through knocked a bunch of trees down across the trail Got to find some water before dark. I passed them all up. I didn't want to have to carry water up this hill. Or mountain. Let y'all have a view of it.
not windy today. I'm going to kill the camera. I need to charge it up on my battery bank. It's getting kind of low. We'll see y'all later on this evening. Bye. <clears throat> well, made it to up to the stop of the top of the stairway to heaven. It's a pretty rocky side of this mountain. Real rocky. It's pretty rough. There's a couple of hikers coming up the trail right now. This is the overlook up here. I don't know if you can see them. Hikers down there. The trail down there actually is not any trail to it. It's just where they blaze trees. So you got to really watch for the blazes on the trees or you'll lose the trail. And it's still not real easy to find. I think they went the wrong way. I almost did that. I don't know if there's like a, a loop or something. It looks almost like when I came up there was an old trail. And then they put some blazes on a new section. Not very windy at all. I figured it'd be windy up here. Well, I'm gonna get back at it because I got to get some water somewhere because I'm nowhere near Chihaw State Park right now. I got a ways. Talk to you later. Bye.